Hello everyone. So when we become ophthalmology residents, it seems like we are thrown into the clinic like this. And then we wander like babies. So as to know what to do, what not to do. And then we are thrown at various devices like slit lamps, ophthalmoscopes, all the complicated devices, and we don't know what to do with them. So our aim should be to know our devices and the clinical techniques related to them. And that will be the first module which I'm going to take starting on the 3rd of February. The examination starting from the slit lamp, basic examination and techniques. Of course, I'll tell you the detail, but the plan of that will be to know about the basic parts of a slit lamp and learn how to use them. The three basic parts means the illumination system, observation system and the coaxial mechanics and a little bit physics related to that for theoretical purposes. And then we should know which of the eye parts are to be seen and by which technique or examination. Now this third is a very important point and I'll take that in detail, not just a snippet. There are various types of techniques of illumination like direct and indirect illumination. Indirect it can be diffuse, focal and specular reflection, whereas in indirect can be proximal illumination, sclerotic scatter or retroillumination. Each of these will be dealt uh, in detail, but today the focal illumination can be of wide slit that is also known as parapapilloid or optical section that is like a slit. And I'll just tell you a snippet regarding the optical section of cornea today. So the direct focal illumination, the optical section, the slit lamp section of a cornea, what do you mean by direct illumination? That the slit lamp, the illumination and the microscope, they are both focused at the same point of interest. That is known as direct and focal illumination. And optical section means it is like a slit. So here, this is the diffuse illumination which you can see. And what I will do is, I will stop the diffuser. I will remove the diffuser first and then I'll make a slit. Now when I make a slit, I can uh, increase the illumination. Here you can see there is a slit of the entire cornea. But as you know, the periphery of the cornea is a little steeper. So what I can do is, I can decrease the height of the slit. And now I can make the width very small. And when you make a width very small, you can increase the illumination as well. And to know about the optical section of the cornea, the aim is to know the layers of the cornea. And of course, if there is a pathology, like if there is an opacity, to know which part of the cornea is having that opacity or the dystrophy. That can be known by making a thin slit and in a magnified view. So here, the I will take the slit to the periphery because the periphery of the cornea is thicker and it's easy to appreciate the layers of the cornea. So here I'm magnifying the slit and increasing the illumination and now we can appreciate the various layers of the cornea. This is the section, optical section of a cornea. I'll explain the layers. This is a reflection from the iris. So we are focusing on the microscope over here. It's a direct focal illumination. So our focus is over, over here. Even the light is coming over here. That's why it's direct focal illumination. Now let us see what are the layers which we can appreciate in this high magnified view of the cornea in this. So we can appreciate, you can see a uh, light, this thin bright light, that's the first light, that's the epithelium. Then is a Bowman's membrane. Then the stroma matrix. Then a band, which is a desmond membrane. And the last layer, of course, is the endothelium. The pre-desmond membrane will not be seen because that is Dua's layer, that is surgically more important. So here, by making this slit lamp in any part of the cornea, we can know which opacity is involved in which layer of the cornea or which dystrophy or degeneration is involved in which layer of the cornea. So this is a simple a snippet for a direct focal illumination and in particular the optical section of a cornea. Similarly, we can make an optical section of a lens. But today in a snippet, I was just telling you about cornea. All right. Similarly, everything we'll do in the class. The class will start on 3rd of February. And if you want to enroll, you can enroll by using the code which is given over here. And we should not be like babies and we should have a jacket or learn how to swim. That's my aim is. Thank you very much for watching. Best wishes.